Welcome to Beware of Spoilers. I am Adam. Yesterday on 30 Minute Reviews, I talked about the weather a little bit. Um, I said that it felt like one of those days where you step outside and you're like, fuck, I don't want to go to school. It's too nice out. It's June. Um, Today, we've hit the other side of the spectrum, and I didn't look at the weather before I got dressed. So I step outside. And I I guess the fact that it smelled like cream corn outside for absolutely no reason didn't help this. But it feels like early football season now. Or like mid-September. Where you're you're sitting there and it is, you know, this just nice, cool day. Not too humid. You know, it rained last night, so we're good now. And it's like, you know, it's just damp and, you know, that kind of thing. I hate working on these kind of days because I can always be so productive on rainy days, but I have to go to work today. So, um, like I said yesterday, or I I think I did on on 30 Minute Reviews yesterday, which if you're not listening to, you can go over and check it out. It's uh, 30 Minute Reviews on wherever you get your podcasts. It's kind of the news companion podcast to this one. Um, So if there's news that breaks, then it'll be covered there. Yesterday, I was going to do a discussion of um, the Black Adam trailer, but I forgot. Um, probably because it, it dropped at like 9.30 in the morning, and I'm like, well, at this point, it's like, we are, we're already kind of late into, like, we're, we're early in the day, like, who, why would you drop a trailer this early? Um, and really, it applies to me, because like, look, I, I get that you know, most other, you know, news outlets, it is their only job to report on the news, um, I know I'm one of the exceptions to the rule where I also have a day job, and I go out and, and, you know, work during the day, um, and, um, yeah, I guess for me it doesn't work, so, you know, if they want to realign their entire marketing campaign around what one guy needs, then that'd be very helpful, but the noon time's a lot better, um, and I think Monday tickets for 11 Thunder go on sale, so get ready for that, um, today I got a notification that Nope tickets are on sale, the new Jordan Peele movie, um, with aliens, and alien abductions, and that kind of cool stuff, um, so back on topic, yesterday on 30 Minute Reviews, I said that, um, for the sake of these next few weeks, and I think, considering that they're doing this now, and not doing this, you know, and not moving one to Friday, um, considering they're doing it this way, when the regular season, when the season starts for, um, Andor, and the other one, um, see, that movie's so fucking busy, too, because it's gonna be Andor and Bad Batch, or Andor and... Um, She-Hulk, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, so right now we got, um, so looking at this, uh, right now we have, you know, Kenobi and Miss Marvel, or Obi-Wan, Kenobi and Miss Marvel, like he's doing that. Um, and the way I decided I'm going to decide which one goes in the morning, which one goes in the afternoon, is going to be which one did I like more. It's going to be the morning one. And which one I liked less is going to be the afternoon one. And this one was tough. um, Because Kenobi did do something that felt like, you know, the animated shows that I love. Like, it feels a lot... Like, when you watch this, it feels a lot like um, like watching Rebels or Clone Wars. um, Or even The Mandalorian does, does this occasionally. The breaking into the Imperial Stronghold to rescue someone and leave, um, but that's not what we're going to talk about first, I think Miss Marvel edges it out, um, a little bit, I think Miss Marvel was the better of the two shows this week, um, now, with Miss Marvel, um, it's, they had to change her origin story, that's, I think the first thing that needs to be addressed is that the origin story for Miss Marvel had to get changed. Um, rationale being, we've had, we had the Inhumans TV show, and 
that did not do well. It did well enough for um, Anson Mount to reprise his role as um, as Black Bolt in um, in Multiverse of Madness, but I don't think it was an, it was well enough received to you know do that. On top of that, the Inhumans, um, what's it called? The Inhumans do. Um, look like, like, like the, the, it's, a, it's a big concept to introduce to give someone powers based on Terra Genesis in their first episode and be like, okay, well, that's something we're going to have to explore. And then the entire show would be less about Miss Marvel and more about, uh, the, 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 you know, figuring out what Terra Genesis is and what happened to her. Kind of like what happened in season two of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. when, um, when Sky became, you know, Daisy. Um, it, it, they, I understand um, why they made the change. The other thing that needs to be addressed is why Miss Marvel fills the role she does in the comics. When Miss Marvel was introduced, Marvel did not own Fox, and there was this kind of petty thing going on where Marvel would refuse to cover, um, like, comics, like, they wouldn't do comics or things they didn't own, so, like, the X-Men got a much lower, got, got less comics about them, I think there was, like, a Wolverine in the X-Men, and really that was it, um, but beyond that, there was not much, um, like, what's it called, there was not much, um, X-Men love, um, also, at the same time, um, they had all but canceled the Fantastic Four. Um, and what they were doing was Marvel Studios did have the ability to make Inhumans movies. Like, they had not sold that away to anyone because no one really wanted it. But the Inhumans were still there and they still had the ability to make those movies. So what ended up happening was they announced that an Inhumans movie was going to be coming after, um, Captain Marvel ended up taking the slot, I think, or there was a reshuffle due to Spider-Man, and the Inhumans movie got bumped, and it went to Marvel TV, um, but the idea was that they didn't have to, um, what's it called, they didn't have to, um, what's the one for here, um, they, Blanking on what I'm trying to say. Um, they, that's what it was. It's if they made an Inhumans comic, the Inhumans comic would, be, in the long term, promote an Inhumans movie that would inevitably come. So Miss Marvel's powers were Inhuman, and they were also kind of Mr. Fantastic based too. I think that the thought process was well, if we give her stretchy powers, number one, if we have two stretchy characters. Um, on what's it called? If we have two stretchy characters in the universe at the same time, it's not the worst thing on the planet. Look at DC. DC's got elongated men and plastic men, and while they're not identical power sets, they're close enough where you can be like, okay, well, you know, they're kind of similar. Um, and it wouldn't be a huge deal if there was a second character who had that same powers, number one. Number two, at the time, it was post-Secret Wars 2. So it was just easier to be like, hey, so we now have two stretchy, like, you know, for all intents and purposes, Reed Richards and the Fantastic Four had kind of retired for a little bit. So they were, they were off to the, to the, um, what's it called? They were, they were kind of off the board a little bit. So creating Miss Marvel with that same power set wouldn't make a ton of an issue. Um, then comes, you know, the show. And the show is coming at a time where Disney has now reacquired Fox and all of that. And I feel like, especially if we're going to use the naming convention of, you know, and, and have her associated with, you know, Captain Marvel, Marvel, uh, Spectrum, and all these other characters, um, the cosmic energy um, aspect of it um, definitely would fit in better with, what's it called, would definitely fit in better with, uh, um, the other one, with, um, fuck, I'm completely blanking it, um, with, with, you know, Captain Marvel, then, oh, and here's an inhuman.
woman who was taking the name Miss Marvel, and, you know, that's because she's a fan of Captain Marvel, or she's a fan of Carol Danvers, so she's going to take the name on, and it kind of just feels kind of, I don't know, weird. Like, like that feels weirder to me than doing it this way. Um, where it's like, yeah, she's going to she's gonna invariably take on the name Miss Marvel. Um, but she's going to, to, you know, to do that, to do what she's doing. Um, I don't know why, too, it feels weird to me. Like, if I watch and there's a pop culture reference, it doesn't take me out of it, because it's like, oh, okay, that happens. Like, it was so weird, because, like, at one point in the show, they talk about going over someone's house to play Super Smash Brothers, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool, that's, you know, that's normal, that's what we, you know, that's what people do. Um, and that didn't take me out of it. But for some reason, it's like, the second they reference Mulan, and the second they reference Darth Vader, I'm like, oh, it's a Disney show, so cross, you know, so, so synergy. And I'm like, but why does that bother me, but the, the Smash Brothers one not? Um, so, anyway, um, story at hand is, uh, you have Kamala Khan, She's a junior in high school. Um, she's, you know, she's Pakistani. Comes from a very strict family. Um, she wants to go to Avengers Con. Um, so her and her friend Bruno um, have to. They ask her mom. Then they have to concoct a plan to get out of what's it called to, to get out and go to Avengers Con. Um, and you get some some neat family moments that I think pretty well, that work pretty well, um, like, when, when she tries to get them to go, to go along with the plan, like, you know, let her go to Avengers Con, like, that, that's a kind of, you know, interesting kind of conversation, and it doesn't, like, the, the, the big issue I have is, is oscillation between serious and comedic, um, if you don't have enough time to breathe in between the moments, it can create this issue where a bird just shit on my windshield. Not to do with the show. It, it literally a bird just shit on my windshield. Um, oh god, got a hemorrhoid too. Some red shit mixed in. Um, go to a fucking proctologist. Anyway, um, I think rapid oscillation between, um, what's it called? Between, um, emotional states or comedy and, and drama can create a kind of, like, you know, what's one we for here? Um, like, almost like a, a, a um, tonal whiplash, I guess would be the word I'm trying to come up with. Um, but I think the show does a good job of not, like, it, it does a good job of flipping between the two in a way that doesn't feel forced. Um, because it's just, you know, it's just normal. And, and a lot of it does dwell in the more serious, because, like, while there are comedic moments in the show, Kamala is dealing with some pretty heavy things. Like, she's dealing with the existential, you know, crisis of not knowing what she wants to do with the rest of her life as she's entering her senior year of high school. Um, so that's kind of a big deal. Um, and she doesn't know, like, what's, you know, what's going on, and, and, or what she wants to do. Um, so she's going to Avengers Con, um, and it's just like she wants this moment of kind of release. Like, I'm going to go to do this fun thing that I, um, what's it called, that, uh, that looks kind of, you know, that, that's just about this thing I'm passionate about, and I'm going to go and do that. And she, she does... So she, she goes, and, um, she sneaks out of the house and meets Bruno, and, like, there's this great, like, there's this great thing where she does, like, an Ocean's Eleven style, like, here's the plan, and she goes through the entire plan of what they're gonna do to, uh, to sneak out and get to, um, what's it called? Sneak out and get to Camp Lehigh, where, you know, in the first Avenger, Captain America is formed, in the Winter Soldier, Zola is... In um, Endgame, they go back in time, and that's where Howard and um, 
and Hank Pym are working on their stuff. Um, so, like, the, the they're going on, like, they're, they're coming up with all these ideas. And also, they're in Jersey, so it's easy for them to get to it. Um, so, like, they're she's going through the entire thing, and it's all animated with, uh, with, like, hand-drawn animations, um, and then, and, and it looks like her, like, she drew it out on a piece of paper, and then, um, he gets to the end, and he's like, all right, so let me make sure I understand this correctly, your plan is, we're going to sneak out and take the bus, and it's like, all right, yeah, but still, uh, but it's like, she's got this, like, energy to her, the, uh, the actress who plays Miss Marvel, um, that she can, she can play that kind of, like, eager and overzealous kind of young hero, and I think that that really, like, lends itself to the character in a, in an interesting way, um, and then when we see her get her powers, it's kind of cool, um, the way she does get her powers, that's why I think that, like, they're not 100% getting rid of the inhuman story, I think that by the end of this, we're gonna get something about, like, the Kree experimenting on humans, um, and, and creating, like, the Inhumans, and I think Miss Marvel's gonna end up being the first real Inhuman we get with any length of time, um, in this case it being, we're seeing her, you know, like, we're, we're seeing her learn about her powers and learn about all of that, and I think that that's gonna be the first, she's gonna be the first true Inhuman, um, in that regard, um, because Black Bolt's there, but, like, they don't go into how he got his powers or anything like that. Um, and I think that, like, you know, Kree experimentation is going to play a role. Um, and I think that's going to be an interesting kind of approach. Um, what else is there? Um, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, it, I, I love all of the animations and, and all of the stuff on the buildings and, and, like, all the, you know, all that kind of stuff, because it gives it a, a kind of energy that I think a lot of the other Marvel shows haven't had. Um, it's got a really unique visual flair that a lot of the other Marvel shows hasn't had. Like, I, I loved Loki, and I loved Falcon and Winter Soldier, and I loved Moon Knight, um, but they didn't have anything that really set them apart besides who's in the show, and the, I mean, the tone's a little different in each of them, but there is no... Like, it doesn't look any different. It all looks like it's shot by the same person, um, or in this case, the same studio, and it's all meant to look kind of uniform. This one is designed to look different, which I think also lends itself to the character. Like, the idea of, you know, Kamala being, you know, this, diff this different person and all of that is, is great. And I love her her opening summation of, of uh, the Battle at Endgame. It's so, it, it's so, like, it's just so funny. Um, so, so yeah, so Miss Marvel is out now, the first episode has come out yesterday, every Wednesday, I think for the next six to eight weeks, there's going to be a new episode of Miss Marvel, so, um, you can tune in to Disney Plus every Wednesday to see that, um, if you, what the, if you are not, um, looking to see Miss Marvel, then sorry for you, it's a very good show, it is, a, like, I, I don't understand the review bombing, I don't understand the, you know, the vitriolic hate over it, um, because it's, like, it, it's a, it's a well-made show, and, like, if you're really that offended that she's Muslim, I'm sorry, like, there's nothing I can do about that, um, and there's nothing that can be, like, there's some, one guy at work was like, I don't understand what I'm making this Marvel show, like, well, you know, because people like the character. Like, there's a reason why she's one of, like, three characters, if that, that survived the culling, um, after all new, all different. Like, people really like the character. Um, and also, Carol did not show up in this episode, like I thought she might. Um, I think that Carol shows up by the end. Um, that would be my, my estimation here. It'd be Carol shows up by the end of the show. Especially considering the next time we're going to see Kamala Khan and we're going to see um, Monica Rambo is going to be in. Well, I can see Mon um, actually Monica can show up in this episode very easily. Um, I uh, I think that 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 could happen not by the by the end of the show. Um, I, they're both going to show up in the Marvels um, with uh, for for their for their next movie. 
Um, so, uh, so yeah. So we'll wrap up there for today. Um, I think our next episode is going to be, um, this, uh, tomorrow, or later today. We're gonna have another episode for Kenobi, and then tomorrow I might have one for Irma Vep. Um, but we'll see. So until then, have a great rest of your week.